Hey guys, what's going on today? I just want to give a quick little update on some steel that I talked about. That's on these knives right here. These are this is a artisan cutlery. This is a CJRB. This is a CJRB, um, and that is the the AR RPM nine steel. And I mistakenly said that it is well, a couple things I made a mistake on that were pointed out to me. Um, I came out and said that it was powder metallurgy form of 9CR18 MOV. Uh, that's not exactly correct, although it performs this, about the same chemically. Um, well, this probably performs better because it's powder metallurgy. Um, they are super, super close, but they are not exactly the same. So I just want to come out and apologize if I messed anybody up there. And then I was also wrong. It is not 9 chromium. It is 18 chromium and 9 vanadium. So, um, or carbon, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to come out and say that and get that out there. And thank you guys for pointing that out to me. Actually, there was only one guy who pointed it out. So appreciate that. Appreciate him pointing out. I make mistakes. I don't know everything about every kind of steel and everything else. I'm not a metallurgist or a super expert in that field. Um, I just use my knives and that's how I figure out what steels I like and what steels I don't like. Um, I can dull any steel. It doesn't really matter. Um, it can be Maximilt or HCR 13 MOV, Chinese whatever steel. Either one of them, I can I can dole them in probably just about the same amount of time if I want to. So um, I will say that after using the steel, I'm fairly impressed by it. This one's got stuff all over it. I've been using it, getting it ready for review. It's going to need taken apart and cleaned pretty soon. Not sure if I want to do a video of it, but um, I might. Uh, and this is, like I said in the video when I unboxed it, it's probably just a sticker over G10, which it is. But it looks really good, except for some other things we'll talk about when I get to the review. So, otherwise, I kind of like this knife. It's, um, it's a lot bigger than it feels, which is kind of cool when you get a knife like that. Uh, this knife I've already done a review on. I don't understand why this knife costs more than this knife. And I think this knife's better. This is the Ruffian by Dirk Pinkerton, my favorite knife maker's name. Um... Probably because I like the blade shape a little bit better. Um, I think this one could have been ground a little bit thinner. Um, like this one is. This one's also ground very thin. So, and it's just a slicey cut and beast, this one is. And just a lot of things I just like better about it. Um, this one has those really not so great thumb studs. And... Uh, something else I've found since I have did my... I kind of did a review on this probably too soon just because I wanted to get content out. But um, see how these thumb studs are much wider than the scale? Uh, it kind of likes to try to open itself when you pull it out of your pocket sometimes. So, but that happens. They're not the first designer that ever has done that. So, anyway, I just want to get up there and say that. Uh, my overall thoughts, like I said, on uh, AR RPM 9 is it's really good steel. I would compare it to maybe even S30V. So um, it seems to be pretty tough. It seems to cut pretty well. And it seems to hold a good edge. And it seems to sharpen fairly easy. All good things. So there you go. There you go. If you're thinking about getting an affordable knife and you want good steel and affordable knife, I can say that I actually recommend that steel. So I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, get your family together. Get outside. Enjoy the outdoors. Turn off the television. Toad Sticker out.